Time once again for the uh, Screensavers Geek Library, wherein we recommend, you know, one of our all-time favorite books, movies. We've done bookmarks. We've done video yep. games. We'll do anything that a geek ought to have. Stuffed animals. And this week, let's go to the refrigerator, see what we got. It's, I'm a little nervous. It seems to be kind of smoking. A, oh, man. This thing is hot. Hot, hot. We got actually two titles, but the same thing. It's the, uh, the biography, actually autobiography or memoir of Homer, Homer Hickam Jr. It was originally a book called Rocket Boys, later made into a movie a couple of years ago. It was the sleeper of the year, I think, called October. a young lad who grew up in Colwood, West Virginia. It's a true story. Uh, he was 14 years old in, on October 4th, 1957. Quick quiz, pop quiz. What happened? What are you doing? <laughs> Calm down. What a Sputnik. I took care of it. You Sputnik. Very good. October 4th, 1957. Yeah, so Sputnik. And it struck fear into the hearts of Americans everywhere because they thought, my God, the Russians have put Absolutely. something in the skies. There's a wonderful scene it. in this movie where they're looking up at the sky waiting to see Sputnik and then they see it. Homer Hickam, 14 yeah. years old. He's not a great football player. He doesn't know how he's going to go to college because right. that's the only way you get a scholarship in this small town is by being a good football player. He falls in love with the notion of rockets. Writes really? to Werner von Braun says, I want to do rockets. They build an entire kind of Cape Canaveral launch pad, uh -huh. and they start launching rockets. But all didn't go that well. Here's a look at Homer's first attempt at rocketry in the backyard. Nice rocket, Homer. How high do you think it'll fly? Well, I got it packed with the pattern from 30 sky rockets. Three, four miles. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Ten, nine, nine eight. Should we get behind seven. something? Six. <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of you, actually, Patrick. I, I feel a kinship. I, I definitely feel a kinship.